Witcher is reporting from home. What's our forecast look like? Well, I tell you what, it's, it's just nice. It's so, I mean, it's warm outside. It feels good to be outside. Got the doors open. It's not summertime heat yet. And so we're going to continue to see that. Hold on, folks. I apologize. How about we get a microphone on? That sure, certainly helps. Out of the elements when you're trying to broadcast from home, that's for sure. And you got little kids running around in the other room. So I apologize for that. All right. So anyways, what we're talking about is beautiful weather. Great to get outside. Nice lunch hour. Temperature's not too hot, not too humid. We're not quite to that summer type heat yet, which is good. We'll embrace the uh, temps in the 70s and low 80s for the time being. Right now it's 74 degrees at uh, McGee Tyson Airport, 75 in Oak Ridge. Uh, for you folks joining us from Morristown, sure hope you're having a great day. Current temperature is now 70 and 68 degrees in the Crossville community. Let's walk you through our future cast here locally, then we're going to take it out regionally and talk about our next storm system that's going to be arriving through the day tomorrow. Remember that the Storm Protection Center has lifted, uh, taken us out of that risk for strong to severe thunderstorms throughout the day today. Uh, but we do have a couple of spotty showers that are possible, and we have an unstable atmosphere. So we have moisture, we have lift, and we have um, you know some instability. And so that all leads to some pop-up showers and thunderstorms. Looks like most of that activity, it's been trending south of Interstate 40. So if you live north of 40, you've already gotten a couple of rumbles of thunder earlier this morning. But most of that activity is going to be pushing off to our south and southeast. So the afternoon forecast, by 3 o'clock, we're at 78, uh, 7. By 4 o'clock, that's typically when our high comes down, uh, right around 78 degrees. I say typically because tomorrow or Thursday, our high temperature is probably going to come down while we're sleeping. And then temperatures will stay on the cool side Thursday and on into our Friday. Skywatch 10 radar showing a batch of moisture down to our south. That's going to stay mostly to our south. But that's some of the energy that we're going to be watching as we get into the afternoon. That could spark off a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms. I think at this point of the game, we've got enough instability in, in the atmosphere that anything that gets going is going to produce uh, possibly some stronger wind gusts, uh, some locally heavy rainfall. Let's walk you through our future cast. We'll take you from now through the evening hours. You can see how this energy rides its way to our south. Kind of fizzles out, but again, can't rule out a couple of spotty showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow morning, probably going to start off with mostly dry conditions, although can't rule out a couple of stray showers tomorrow morning. We do have a uh, slight risk for severe weather. The bullseye across the state of Tennessee into Kentucky, uh, over into Missouri and southern Illinois and Indiana. Parts of northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, and even Arkansas. That area shaded in yellow is the greatest risk for severe weather. That's category number two out of five categories, by the way. Uh, so we pick up the timeline tomorrow morning. Again, a couple of showers possible, but as we get into the afternoon, we've got a lot of unstable air in place. And so if anything gets going, it's going to go. Uh, it's kind of like taking a basketball in the, in the deep end of a swimming pool. And if you take that basketball and, and shove it down in the deep end of the swimming pool, you hold it there, nothing's going to happen, right? But if you let go, that ball freely climbs out of the pool by itself, right? It launches out. Uh, that's convective available potential energy. That's called CAPE. Uh, and the atmosphere is going to tap into some of that tomorrow. Now, as we get into our Thursday morning, we are going to see a, a chance for some strong thunderstorms possible across the mountains and over into North Carolina as this cold front continues to slide its way on through. We'll see a few showers and a few thunderstorms associated with that. But that should clear on out through the day on Thursday with improving conditions, albeit a little bit on the cool side. Another storm system is heading our way through the day on Sunday. That's going to produce some pretty heavy rainfall across the southeast. And that's going to enter East Tennessee as well. So Sunday, Monday time frame, we are looking at those chances for rain. Warm, either way you look at it. We're in the 70s and 80s today, tomorrow. But how about this? We're going to drop into the 50s and 60s for your Thursday and Friday. Breaking it down on the seven-day forecast. Again, stay weather alert throughout the day tomorrow, especially as we do have that risk for severe weather around East Tennessee. We'll stay right around 60 degrees throughout the day on Thursday, right there near our 60 on Friday. Climbing back to the low 60s on Saturday, but Saturday is trending dry. Wet weather for Easter on Sunday. Another stormy day ahead of us there. And then heading into our Monday, I think we'll have some lingering showers around the area. 